Hey, hey, what is going on, folks? This is Ron from Optimize Effects, and you are watching another weekly update video. This one's going to be fire. Right now, what you're looking at is a trial account for e8funding.com. I've decided to have a crack at this 100k challenge uh, semi auto. So basically, uh, I will be placing trades manually where I see them, and I'll also be letting the robot manage trades and place trades as well. Right now, this is where we're at. So I started this last night, or yeah, pretty much last night, and there was a few good trades that I saw. I took them, and we are currently up $1,634 in one day, which is pretty cool. But um, we'll see what happens with the rest of the week. We've got a whole like week and, or two to go. But if I can pull this off, it'd be pretty cool. So after this, uh, I'll go to the charts um, soon when I move over to the VPS where all this is happening. Uh, but firstly, I want to show you uh, show you this one. So this this is this basically called uh, I think it's this indie scalper. But you know the gain that they've had is like nine hundred and fifty two percent, which is insane. It is a real account apparently. Um, I've learned not to really fully trust. Uh, my FX book because I know that uh, they can manipulate some figures in here and you can have fake stuff. I have seen it done before, so just be careful. Now, apparently, they've done this in one month in July. Now, for some reason, they stopped trading after this this uh, this win, which is uh, is quite interesting. Why would you stop? You know, having such a great result. Anyway, we can't look at anything else here, which is okay. But what we can look at, though, is what pairs that uh, was traded. And we can have a look here and see that this is what the pairs that were traded. And GU was probably the, the main one that, that brought, brought the most uh, profit in, I would say. Uh, possibly USCCHF, like the risk to reward of that is insane, 8.35. But that's pretty cool. Now, the other thing I wanted to share was oh, this one here. So this is a failed FTMO challenge, the one that I did recently, the one that I trialed recently. This was using uh, a robot that basically I was still testing. I had no idea how it was going to perform. It is trading gold, which is really volatile. And I found out that the settings were a little bit too aggressive. But in saying that, <clears throat> if you are not trading, uh, if you're not trying to do the challenge, the robot performed just perfectly. As you can see here, we've gone from zero to $5,000 uh, from the 21st of July to the 3rd of August, which was when it finished. We can see here, the reason why I failed the challenge was I exceeded the loss by $1,000. So that was, a, that was a bit crap, but, but the max loss was only $1,500. The profit target we doubled. Uh, which is okay, and we, we traded for 10 days. So I've adjusted the robot to make it less less aggressive, and uh, I'm going to start this again. Now, I've started it again. We have a new challenge. Uh, there's nothing for me to show you just yet because I only just did it now, and uh, we are it is now Saturday. The markets are closed. So I uh, will share the updates from that challenge uh, in next weekend's video. You can see here, uh, some of the lots were pretty crazy, like, you know, 11.09 lots on gold, which is pretty big for, for an account that of this size, I guess. Uh, I think it was 50,000. Yeah. So 50 K, you know, 11 lots is getting up there to be, to be done automatically, I think. But, uh, yeah, it went, it went really, really well. Um, you know, we've doubled the profit target, smashed the max loss value, like that's nothing, but actually, accidentally exceeded the max daily loss uh, when gold did a massive move and um, basically the robot just couldn't handle it and go in one direction for too long. So I've reduced the aggressiveness of the robot and we'll see how that goes next week. Right, now let's have a look at, at the VPS side of things. And this is a live account. This is a live account that I've been playing around with. Um, I've been trading it with uh, with Black Dragon. This is not the actual um, account that uh, that I am using. It does have Black Dragon on it, but it, I'm not trading 
with this account. The only reason why I put this one up is because I already had trade info up here and it's uh, basically just showing uh, what uh, what profits I had lately. So for the year, not so great. Uh, for the month, okay. For the week, okay, 190. Now, uh, with this, I, I did withdraw $100 to another account to play with, uh, with that $100, and unfortunately I lost that $100 because it was trading gold, and 100 was definitely not enough to play around with with gold. So just take, take note of that. Take note of my mistakes. Uh, $100 is not enough to trade gold with with a robot especially when it's doing moves like this that is if the robot is a martingale robot and it is not aura black aura black can probably do this as well it depends on the trade direction right so that's where we're at um, among us has been going really 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 well i'm really really impressed with how that robot is trading we've got some trades carried over the weekend uh, there was some news with Euro USD and a lot of USD pairs, so there was a bit of drawdown. But uh, I didn't see anything. Uh, you know, daily max DD was like forty-three bucks, so it was nothing really. Um, I have the the risk on Among Us turned right the way down, so it's that the lowest possible risk, and yet we're still doing, you know, twenty, fifteen, twenty, thirty, sixty, forty-nine dollars um, these last two days. Today and yesterday, there was a few gold trades thrown in there as well, manually. Because I believe that if I'm going to be um, a professional trader, I need to learn how to do this manually. So I've been uh, practicing manual trades using uh, support resistance, some indicators, price action. And uh, the biggest thing i found is managing your risk. So you let the winners run and you cut the losses real quick just take note of that now next we have the actual account where things are happening um, i am using vap vapes pro uh, but as you can see here i don't use it 24 7 definitely not uh, i only use it like when i can watch it and i have a set risk amount that i have in my head that where if i see uh the lots get too big or if i see basically the drawdown get to a certain point i'll cut it but generally it goes really really well and it really likes a bit of volatility but not so much in one direction it needs to be up and down up and down up and down so i think if had i have left it on it would have traded this actually really nicely because they see all this up and down up and down which is what uh, vapes really really likes but when we get things like this where it just pretty much goes up there's not much down that's where this robot can get into a lot of trouble so if you're going to run this full time i'll definitely recommend not having anything less than ten thousand in the account if you want to trade gold on default settings right Next uh, is, uh, this is the actual E8 funding account where I am trying this semi-auto, trying to uh, beat this E8 funding. Uh, if I can, I'll, um, I'll probably go for it on a real one and I'll probably document that too, but we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm really not sure if I will document every single part of it because that just puts too much pressure on on myself taking I might take the wrong trades and I may not pass a challenge and it might cost me a bit of money so uh, for that reason I may or may not <clears throat> share uh, my journey if if the journey goes well I'll share it I'll probably document it uh, but if it doesn't I probably won't share it too much but what I will do is probably share um, what I learned if if things go the wrong way so that would be pretty cool Really uh, looking forward to uh, sharing my journey with this demo account with you all and seeing how that goes. Right, uh, this is a really interesting one as well. So this uh, this robot is called Hedging Martingale. Basically, it's a Martingale robot that hedges. And as we can see here, it is insane. It does make a lot of profits, uh, but you need a massive account to, to do this. 
I think I started this with uh, with 10,000 and so far for the month it's made 3,903 uh, for the week 1627 and this is what it's done lately. So yeah, this has gone quite well. I thought I'd share this one with you. It is a free robot, I believe. Uh, you can get it easily anywhere. And uh, this, uh, I don't think this is default settings, but um, but yeah. But as you can see here, you know, the lots are getting up there with gold. So you'll need to have um, a bit of margin to play with. It's probably recommended to have um, like a cent account with like one to 1,000 or one to 2,000 leverage if you're wanting to trade this live or if you have like 10,000 real money that you can risk to lose and have a lot of leverage or probably won't get anything more than one to 500, um, be very careful because uh, it, you can uh, run out of margin pretty quick. But the thing is, is that it, um, it hedges. So uh, the margin isn't as bad as probably what it should be had a foot going uh, only one or the other way, but everything sells at the moment. So uh, we'll see what happens. You know, three hundred and one dollars is not too bad to be in drawdown for what's happening here with gold. So uh, we'll see what happens with that. Now, last but not least, is uh, the actual um, indie scalper robot that I've set up uh, from the one that I showed you before on my FX book. Uh, there is uh, these aren't going to be going. So we've got um, Black Dragon Indicator, Black Dragon version 10, and I've got another scalper, which I am testing, uh, which has gone extremely well. You can see here all the trades it's done, uh, but I decided to close everything and I'm going to be doing this on another account. So, but I've left it here. Uh, if you're interested in that, have a look in my Telegram or have a chat to Thiago, um, great developer and definitely has some good EAs provided you use them correctly, just like any other robot. But what we've got here is Indie Scalper, and it basically only trades between seven and seven and 15. So it, was, it didn't, wasn't any trade time uh, when I set it up last night. So we'll see how it goes over the next week. Um, if anything crazy happens, I'll let you know and I'll do an update video there. But uh, that is all. That is my update for today. Hope you've got a lot of knowledge from that. And I'm looking forward to sharing some more information with you by the end of next week or maybe in the middle of the week if uh, something really exciting happens. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.